Cindy is a Kenyan company. We connect customers and logistics providers. What we've done differently is figuring out the last mile logistics, which is a problem in most developing countries. I mean, we don't have things like addresses here. Being able to use technology to solve a problem that really nobody has been able to solve in this region is probably the most exciting bit. Sandy has two Android apps, one for the customers and one for the drivers. The great thing about Sandy is you're able to drop pins for your pickup and drop off locations, so it's easier for you to identify it on a map rather than entering an actual address. We went with Android because majority of the users in Kenya, East Africa, is Android phones. And the fact that the process of actually doing that continuous deployment to customers is much faster than other platforms. As a startup that is constantly trying new things, we tend to roll out features a lot. A cool feature in the Google Play Developer Console is the alpha and beta testing groups. We normally roll out our new versions of the app to groups that help us test and get as many bugs as possible before the app goes into final release. Most people love it when the UI flow is as easy to use as possible. Material design offers a very simple language for people to understand, and we found that most Kenyans appreciate it. When developing apps for the Kenyan market, there are certain things that you need to consider. You need to make sure that your APK size is not too large, because most people don't have a lot of storage space. You also need to check the amount of data your app is using because people are very sensitive of the amount of data they use. Battery usage is also very important. People don't have the luxury of plugging in their phones all the time. One of the key things was also building trust among your users. So one of the things we did in the beginning is provide free delivery to customers. The other way of building trust is making sure that we keep the customer on the know where the driver is through our Android app. The way we've utilized the Google Play Developer Console to establish user trust is that first, we make sure that our ratings on the Play Store are high. We also rely on statistics such as the number of crashes per app version. That is very helpful for me as a developer to know what bugs I should escalate and fix as quickly as possible. I think integrating with local payments is very, very key as well to the success of customers using your product. Over 90% of our customers pay for our services using mobile money. So we have been seeing very exponential uh, growth within the company. We've grown from a team of three to right now a team of about 23 people. Being able not only to have an impact to the end user, but also to the drivers in our platform. So giving them an income that they weren't able to earn a few months ago is really something that is touching for me as a person. I feel that we are driving the economy in the littlest way possible, but we are still driving the economy, which is enough for me.